Daytona Beach, Florida is home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube video presentations up, whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago, for all of our subscribers to watch. Our subscribers like to watch our uh, content uh, month after month and year after year, so we, we leave them up, we never take them down. However, on our website, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website letting you know that particular unit is no longer available. Check out our Instagram as well. We're going to have vehicles such as this Camaro we're about to present to you on our Instagram prior to them hitting our website. This way, if you are in the market for a specific year, make, or model, you might be able to get a jump on another potential or prospective buyer. I can't tell you how many of the vehicles sell out of our showroom before even hitting our website. We have thousands of visitors here to our showroom, and we have thousands of people uh, that inquire throughout the year on our vehicles and are in the market for specific year, make, and models and get put on our list, and they sell before they even hit our website. So. Also, on Instagram, there's a little link there to our gift shop here in Daytona Beach. Um, we have hats, t-shirts, uh, different hangsters apparel, as well as garage signs, flags, banners, all kinds of cool stuff. Cool merchandise that we ship all over the uh, country, so check that out as well. I don't know if there's any muscle car uh, that stood the test of time uh, year after year and currently um, really uh, leading the pack once again. Uh, than the first gen Chevrolet Camaros. Uh, this one happens to be a 1968. It's a big block car, 396. Does have uh, power brakes, does have power steering. There is no AC in the car. Um, if you are interested in AC, uh, we do uh, add that here at Hangsters. Of course, there are provisions uh, for doing that, such as time, you know, there's a time element involved, but uh, we can put AC on. Uh, certain vehicles for you if you are interested in that. There is a cowl tag present underneath the uh, hood and up in the cowl area there. That's why it's called a cowl tag. Uh, there will be a photo of that on the website if you care to break that down. Red in color. One of the most desirable muscle car colors out there is red. Um, again, one of the most desirable muscle cars on the market are the first gen Camaros. And, uh, you know, this being a big block car, being the right color and the right combination should not uh, be around our showroom very long. Um, SS style uh, badging there up in the uh, front grille area. The uh, bumper uh, up front there, the chrome, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, no pitting, flaking, anything like that. You do have a black spoiler there on the front down low that is plastic. Uh, it is brand new. A lot of those uh, come through our showroom cracked. Uh, we have them in stock. We put new ones on because they sit real low. Obviously, people pull over stuff. They take on road debris, and they have a tendency to want to crack. So that one's brand new. does have a hood scoop in the center. Uh, red hood scoop. Uh, paint on the uh, hood is uh, real, real nice. Uh, no fading in the clear. No blistering in the hood. I don't see anything, that um, any kind of... Uh, chips or anything out of the hood itself. do have a black stripe going down the side of the car that starts on the nose and continues down the side where you see the 396 badging. There is uh, 396 under the hood, so that is correct for the vehicle. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll see 396 on there and there's a 454 in there or vice versa, but uh, this one's correct, 396 under the hood. Camaro SS badging on the driver's side front fender. Uh, it is an SS style car. You do have uh, Hancock uh, uh, radial tires on all four corners. I do have that knockoff center cap there on your five-star spoke. Chrome mirror on the driver's side. Uh, there is not one on the passenger side. We do have those in stock too, so if you guys do want one mounted on the passenger side, we can uh, certainly do that. That's not a problem. Uh, front window glass on the car is absolutely fantastic. Same thing with the... Uh, Chrome molding around the front windshield, that's in good condition as well. Chrome drip rails, uh, drip rail moldings I should say, have been put on the car properly. Uh, a lot of times you see those are dented in or caved in because uh, people did not have the right uh, crimping tool to, to put that on. Uh, this one's in nice condition. 
The window glass on the car, the quarter window and the driver window, both in pretty decent shape. You can see some rub marks there on the driver's side window where it goes up and down on hits against the uh, the window felts there. But overall, pretty pretty good clarity on the window glass. Uh, body fitment um, from the standpoint looking down the side of the car, uh, body lines, you know, the, the quarter being straight to the driver door to the uh, front fender, everything lines up nice and uh, even there. You can see your door gaps are even throughout the entire door starting at the top going down to the lower rocker. Um, and it's not hitting here on the uh, driver's side front fender taking a chip out of the fender. So the body lines are nice and straight on the car. We'll show you down the side of the car as we continue on through the uh, video presentation. Door panels in good shape. Uh, armrests uh, not discolored, uh, not torn, not ripped. Uh, same thing with the door panel. You know, a lot of times people don't put door panels on correctly, and you can see that at the bottom of the door it's all warped. This one is not. Uh, door panels are expensive to order uh, through the different online parts distributors. Uh, these you don't have to order because they're in nice condition. Uh, dome light illuminates when you open up the driver door. Headliner appears to be uh, newer. Uh, it's in real fantastic condition. No uh, holes, no uh, rips in, in that. You do have your uh, 396 floor mats there, black, and then of course the carpeting underneath the floor mat is in good shape. Bucket seats, driver and passenger, both look to be in good shape. There's no tears here. The uh, cushion material on the seat itself is in good shape. Do have uh, rear seat belts, front and rear seat belts in the car. Again, underneath the uh, rear floor mat, carpeting's in good shape. No discoloration, no rips, no tears there. Uh, it does have front seat belts too. You can see them clipped in the center console like they're supposed to be. It does have a set of gauges in front of the staple shifter. Um, we'll take a closer look at the interior when we are on the test drive. We'll show you guys that so you can uh, get a nice close view. And then, of course, there will be still photos of the interior as well. Again, the body lines on the car uh, are nice and straight. You can see that quarter, driver door, driver fender. Um, also, look, see down here? There's no blistering, cracking, bubbling, anything like that down low there. It's in good shape. Chrome on the rear bumper, same as the front bumper, uh, real nice. Um, you, there's no uh, rusting or pitting around your uh, bolt holes there to hold your uh, bumper on. Uh, SS gas cap there, uh, brake lights, reverse lights, of course, all in good shape. Nothing's cracked or taken on any water or anything like that. The uh, deck lid painted the same color as the, uh, the spoiler. I should say, on the deck lid, painted the same color as the car. Uh, deck lid fits nice and flush to the uh, rear quarters. Uh, clarity on the rear window glass is fantastic. Hat rack there in the back is in great shape. Top of the seat, nothing's ripped, nothing's sun faded. Let's take a look in the uh, trunk. Pretty simplistic there, right? There's no trunk mat, no spare, no jack. So what you see is what you get. Um, when you're looking at our cars on our website, if there's a jack and a spare and a trunk mat in there and any documentation we show, all that comes with the car. We don't take it out. Uh, we don't keep it. We're not spare tire hoarders here. Um, so this one, you know, what you see is what you get again. There's no spare, no jack in this 68 Camaro. Your body fitment down the passenger side is the same as the driver's side. Look at your uh, wheel opening moldings there, all in nice condition, nothing's dented, uh, pitting, anything like that. Uh, your, your paint quality here on your rear quarter is nice. Again, there's no blisters, no cracks, uh, no areas that the uh, clear is faded, uh, anything like that. See how your door fits nice and flush to the rear quarter as well as down low there to the uh, rockers. You know, you have a two-fold problem when you're in, a, you know, doing a restoration or, or uh, you know, restoring a car. Uh, either you, you can't get an OEM door and you get an aftermarket door that doesn't quite fit right, or uh, you, you, you have subpar craftsmanship on the bodywork of the uh, door itself because you're trying to restore the original OEM door. And this door is nice and straight. Um, it's either uh, an OEM door or fantastic Fantastic body. 
Door panel on the passenger side, same as the driver's side. You can tell they look to be newer door trim panels. Uh, they aren't warped, they aren't discolored, armrests aren't torn. Again, the uh, passenger side seat, same as the driver's side. The black vinyl's in nice shape. You have your SS396 floor mats. Uh, you do have a newer retro style radio in there. Uh, again, we'll take a look at that when we're on the actual test drive. Your window clarity on the passenger side, much the same as the driver's side. They aren't perfect, uh, but they're uh, you know in real nice condition, both uh, the, the door window itself and the uh, rear quarter glass window. You have that Camaro SS badging there on the passenger side front fender, like it was on the driver's side, and again, your 396 on the nose. All four wheels are in fantastic condition. Uh, we do take still photos of the wheels, uh, really close for you, so you can see you know, if there's any curb rash on the wheel and if there's any pitting um, or flaking of the chrome. And there's not on this car, so that's a good thing. Red, center console, staple shifter, black vinyl interior, power steering, power brakes, big block. A lot going for this 1968 Camaro. We just did a quick video presentation walk around. We're going to take it out back. I'll see which one of the lifts back there is open. We'll do an undercarriage presentation for you. And then shortly after that, you know, if you watch our videos here in Daytona, we do our test drive and show you guys how the car runs. But all this you're watching in the video you can do yourself. And I encourage you to do that. I buy and sell these cars six days a week, um, 12 months a year. So I'm constantly intimate with them, looking at paint, driving them, um, being underneath them, underneath the undercarriage, looking in trunks, looking at motors, uh, valve covers, oil pan gaskets, uh, you know, uh, drive, shift and trannies, manuals, automatics, uh, you know, I, I, I'm around these cars every single day. But for you, this may be your first class of car purchase or maybe your second class of car purchase and uh, you may not know what to expect when you're buying a car uh, of this age. So this is why we encourage you guys and invite you guys to come to our Daytona Beach showroom so that you can look at the paint outside in the sunshine and, and see what your opinion is of the paint on this car. And you can look at the undercarriage and you can see how well the car has been cared for and put together for your own eyes and not just take my word for it. And you can drive the car and you can see how this 396 performs and how the brakes feel to you and how the uh, overall performance of the, you know, the steering and the, the overall uh, ride of the car is uh, you can experience it firsthand if you do visit us here in Daytona. But our videos do a pretty good job of selling cars. We managed to sell a lot of cars sight unseen. Uh, we've been doing it a long, long time, over 20 years as a matter of fact. We were online shopping at home from the convenience of your own home before it was as popular as it is today. So hopefully that tells you a little bit of something about our business model on how we've been able to be successful for that period of time. Uh, with selling 30, 40, 50, 60 year old cars. We are going to, as I just stated a couple seconds ago, pull it around the building and we're going to rack it for you and we're going to show you the undercarriage of the 68 Camaro and then we're going to do the fun part, which is drive it. Underneath our 1968 big block Chevrolet Camaro, we have disc brakes up front. Um, so, although I don't have any uh, information as to the history of the build, the paint, when the motor transmission was redone, anything like that, um, look at how fresh the paint is on the motor. See the uh, orange paint on the side of the block? They're all nice and fresh. The uh, motor itself, we did not paint this. This is the way we bought it. So that is a good indication that the motor's been out fairly recently and it has been redone. Uh, transmission pan staring you right in the face. You can see that's nice and dry. Frame rails on the car look good, driver and passenger side. Floor pans are uniform throughout the entire vehicle. You can see um, there's no patches, there's no uh, silicone, uh, it, it looks good, both driver and passenger. Uh, exhaust looks brand new, um, definitely newer, uh, and it's, you know, I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything like that in the exhaust system itself. Uh, drum brakes in the rear, leaf springs look good, rear end looks good, doesn't appear to be uh, leaking anything there. Uh, let's see here, drop downs here, 
Drop downs on the rear quarters look to be in pretty good condition. Driver and passenger. You can see right down. There's a lot of stuff, you know, the exhaust system, and I'm dealing with black there, but you can see it's metal on metal right there. If you look, there's a little gap there where it's metal on metal. So, looks good. 1968 Camaro big block. We're going to set it down on the ground and drive it, but before we do so, I want to go over the uh, funding procedures with you guys. If you're a cash buyer, we'll accept cash if you're coming to visit us in person. You can certainly bring us green cash. It still does spend, believe it or not. Uh, we will take a certified bank check from your bank and, of course, bank wire transfer we also accept. If you are financing the 68 Camaro, we work with three different collector car lenders that will offer you up to a 10-year term on this particular vehicle with approved credit, of course. You're going to be required to put a minimum of 10% down, and then the remaining balance is going to be over that 5 to 10-year period, whatever your approval is for. Once the vehicle is funded in full, whether you are a cash buyer or whether you are financing, the uh, vehicle goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. This process is recorded. You do get a copy of it on the keychain when the car shows up. It's on a little USB thumb drive, along with all the photos we took in the showroom and the video presentation you're watching right now. Once it is through that inspection process uh, and the guys say it's ready to go, we call a carrier for pickup or call you for pickup if you're coming to pick it up in person, uh, driving it home or trailering it home. But if it's on a carrier, typically it's 24 to 48 hours to get a carrier here, as long as you're, you know, not in some rural area, it's real hard to get to, or uh, real remote. Uh, typically we have a driver here for pickup within 48 hours, and then transport time is going to be, of course, wherever you're located in the United States and how many vehicles are on board and so on and so forth. Let's set the 68 Camaro down on the ground, we'll take it on a test drive and show you guys how it runs out. Inside our 68 Camaro, horn, uh, wipers. Let's see, 20,204 is the mileage on the odometer. The title reads exempt, true mileage unknown. We are going to stay there for a minute. We are going to do the driver's side turn, passenger side turn. While we're at the passenger side turn, the fuel gauge does work. We just put 25 in it and it registered. The radio works. It's got one of these new retro style radios. Selling your home should be easy, right? And So that works. Gauges. Uh, there's a fuel gauge down there um, as well. That's reading full. Not sure what the deal is with that, but anyways. Uh, battery voltage, oil pressure, and then temp uh, slowly coming up. We just started the car. So. Um, 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 um. There is a uh, like a break in the molding here. I'm not exactly sure why or how, or, but we got it that way, and that's the way it was put together, and that's the way that it's being shipped. Uh, it does have kind of a cool uh, Chevy logo there, where your AC and heat controls would have been. Dash pad's in good shape. Headliner's in great condition. It's got this aftermarket steering wheel. It looks like brand new. Uh, the center console itself is in pretty good shape. It has a little crack there. But uh, other than that, everything looks to be in good order. Let's take it out on a drive and see how it runs. It's a sweet ride. Let go of the wheel, the car tracks nice, perfectly straight. The steering is tight as hell. Uh, speedometer. Reading and reading accurately. 396 has good pickup. We'll show you that here when we uh, get around the corner. The, uh, I don't have anybody behind me. Let me straighten out up here and we'll uh, show you the brakes real fast. The brakes stop just like they should. Real nice. Okay, so no hands on the wheel brakes just like they should perfectly straight you guys ready here we go Shut it 
down there, 65. You can see I'm coming up on traffic. I'm doing a couple miles per hour more than they are. But 50 miles an hour still. Speedo's holding nice and steady. Our temp's good. It's just starting to come up. We haven't been running the car for five, six minutes. We'll get over here, switch lanes. No vibration in the steering wheel, no tire vibration, no vibrations in the drivetrain at all. Nice big block in there. It really is. It's the right color. It's the right interior. Good looking car, nice performing car. Nice strong motor. Training shifts nice, crisp, clean, firm. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. I'm going to put all the photos of this uh, car up today along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States. It also includes a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We can help you make the shipping arrangements, but you will just pay the uh, driver on delivery with the vehicle with uh, check or cash. They do not take credit card. That warranty I'm speaking of is not a bumper to bumper warranty, it is a powertrain warranty. Engine, transmission, and rear end. You don't have to take it to a Chevrolet dealer. You don't have to take it to a special muscle car dealership. As much as you may want to, you don't have to bring it back to the great state of Florida here. It's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. So, you, you know, believe it or not, these uh, classic cars, collective cars, they're pretty simplistic to work on. There's nothing like the uh, computer technology of today where everything is electronically controlled and you've got 17 different onboard computers. Uh, guys would actually, most mechanics, technicians would probably uh, love to work on something like this. It's pretty simple. But uh, again, any ASC certified facility in the United States can handle it. So you could probably take it to that same person that works on your daily driver. If you have your own uh, trailer and you want to come pick it up, you can do that as well. If you have your own carrier you like to use, maybe your collector, you got a shipper in the past or a carrier in the past you had a good experience with, you can certainly use them. We don't make any money off the shipping. If you're local to us here in Central Florida, you can certainly pick the car up and drive home yourself. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base.